Lois, the day is finally here. It's been your joy and love and passion for building today for us and our friends that made me see how exciting and fun it can be. With you, tackling each challenge together has made me more and more appreciative and in love with you. Vicko, happy wedding day. I cannot wait to see you and have a splendid time later in light of this special occasion I wrote you a poem. V's for victory, for picking me, haha. -ha. I's for intelligent, for being a kick-ass chiropractor. C's for crazy for you. It's been 12 years, but I still love spending time with you. K's for kerosene, for boy, you're on fire, haha. -ha. O is for oh my god, we're getting married. I love you. Love, Lois. I can't wait to see you. See how much more we get to see and learn together. I can't express how lucky I am to have you by my side. I'm ready to see the world and raise little loaves and bacon with you. Oh, happy wedding day. Love always, Vicko. Family and friends of Lois and Vicko, I welcome and thank all of you for being here on this important day and very important moment in the lives of Lois and Vico. human. I think I'm so lucky to have met you 12 years ago yesterday. I could not have asked for a better partner to evolve with and I just feel so grateful to change along with you. I think spending this much time together there really isn't much more that I could say in terms of just, I mean, I can't remember how many times I've kind of looked across at you on the couch and just been like, oh man, how did I end up here? <laughs> it was a chance encounter, you know, when we first met at Queens, it was the first night, like you said, of all the people I met that night, you were one of the few that stood out. And we just built a bond. I didn't understand at the time what it was, but I always gravitated towards you. And it was just, your joy and your enthusiasm for life that never ceases to amaze me. And to have that aim at me every single day of my life is, I, it's, I'm truly lucky. I wouldn't say it's a pinnacle moment, but this past spring, when we found out that my aunt wasn't doing well. Um, the first thing you said was, what can we do? And the second thing you said was, there was only one right thing to do. And that was to go to Hong Kong to do the ceremony if we can. And that response is the only response I needed because you understand the significance of what it is to treasure your family. And it's that unspoken understanding that I can, I, I, I am so happy to have found with you. I promise to love you, be faithful to you, cherish you, and I'm really, really excited for the next stages of our life together. Love you. I love you. I think these vows truly came from heart, and I could feel the emotions in both of your words. Vico, you make us the bride. Please give them a big round of applause.
Now, I've known Lois and Biko since first year of university, which is basically when they met. We got to know each other very well. We spent undergrad together. We maintained our friendship when we moved back to Toronto, all of us, and we've stayed in touch for a very long time. And then finally, after dating for 37 years, when Vico finally proposed to Lois, I was like, really, Lois, that guy? Are you sure about that? <laughs> totally joking. You know, I'm so happy for them. Lois and Vico are the epitome of the couple that basically remain steadfast and last through whatever you want to throw at them. And I think I speak for the whole room when I say that we all could not be more happy for you two in starting the next phase of your life together. You both are so bright, so positive. You're meant for each other. And we can't wait to see what happens next for you two. As I'm sure all of you who know Lois can attest, she is kind, she's patient, she's generous. She is sensible, and overall, she's also just that person that I turn to for bad days, for fun jokes, for a silly note on WhatsApp. And whether it's been days or weeks since we've seen each other, she's the person where a random run-in on the street or on the subway brings hugs and high-pitched screaming that's usually seen only in reunions when people have been apart for years at a time. And that's because for me, any time spent with Lois is a joy and I'm so thankful to have her as a part of my life. And then there's Vicko. I was trying to think about when I've actually met Vicko, and I honestly can't remember. But it's like one day Lois told me about this guy that she met, and then suddenly it's like 12 years went by, and Vicko's just been a seamless part of the group. A funny, genuine, and kind person, and I'm happy to be able to think of him as a friend as well, rather than just some dude that my friend married. So often, people talk about couples completing one another, and I think that that's almost unfair to say about Lois and Vicko, because there's nothing missing with either of them. Rather, they're two amazing people who keep bettering and challenging themselves individually, and then turn and support and encourage one another to be the best versions of themselves that they can be. Their love is manifested in their conscious decision to continue working and growing together and individually. And I think that that's just so amazing to see for the last 12 years. So join me in toasting to Lois and Vicko. May this just be one of many celebrations in a long and happy life together.